Borderland, the pre-sequel, Volt Symbols and Challenges. We're in Cacornia, Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Hope you're finding these videos helpful. All right, out here at Cacornia, there's three Volt Symbols. Uh, right in the center of town, there's a little jump pad that takes you up into the roof system. Our first Volt Symbol is over towards the front entrance where we came in, but up on top. So just get up onto the roof system there and start bouncing your way over there. I believe there's like uh, three, possibly four of the challenges out here. Okay, this video may get updated later, but I'm not 100% sure. To be honest with you, there's really no need for it. Uh, very much like Borderlands 2, um, like when you went out to the sanctuary. Uh, Mad Moxie's bar has the the slot machines in it and one of the challenges out there was to get the jackpot now I've tried several times to get the jackpot but uh, just wasn't successful one of the things in Borderland 2 they mentioned was that your luck on the slot machine was better the more co-op people you had in your game I cannot really comment if that's true or not all I know is that I've been doing this by myself an hour, hour and a half. And, I mean, you get the three moon rocks, three volt symbols. Um, you know, it keeps spinning. I would get two of each of those but never get the jackpot. So, I mean, the boom time thing would happen, like, I can't think of how many times. And then cherries and whatever the combination is but uh you spit out a lot of different weapons and all that kind of stuff but anyhow uh there's really no video help that's going to help you with that uh, if you got some co-op help just keep trying the jet uh the slot machines to get that challenge i mean it's not like uh me showing you hitting the jackpot would make you get it so but anyway one of the other challenges to turn that electric force field off or fence whatever you want to call it before the mission uh, so I would recommend before starting any of the objectives out here at Cacornia just go ahead and collect your three volt symbols and then uh, go ahead and do the objectives the one where you need to dance with the clap trap uh, you're gonna have to do all the, the challenges out here you gotta uh, activate the satellites or whatever it is out here i don't exactly remember what it is and then uh at some point the little cop clap trap that meet greets you when you first come in uh he needs to uh catch you breaking the law if you want to call it that but you'll see that coming up here shortly right in the center on the top of this little tower uh this center tower here you know, get up to the roofs on the back side of this tower is the volt symbol, as you just saw there. So that's our second volt symbol. All right, from this point, just drop off to the right side, and then you need to circle around this square area, not on the, the ground level, but still on the roof level here. You uh, circle around, and when you see the neon sign, you know you're there. So right here in front of us, under the walkway, roof or whatever you want to call it, right there you see the spring sign. Right here on the floor is the volt symbol. So that's our third volt symbol. That's going to take care of all three of them. We already got the one challenge for shutting the... The electric fence off I think you have to do that before the quest if you start the quest then maybe that won't uh, happen so then we have the other two for the clap traps and I think we did some of the objectives out here and then uh, we basically went out to where we first came in and the clap traps kind of got like a little routine where he keeps coming back and forth past this area and I asked my buddy uh, the the way it reads is that uh, he needs to catch you standing on the lawn or set some trash on fire with a fire-based weapon. This SMG was in the bank, but uh, my buddy's like, that looks like a lawn. And I'm like, it does? All right, if you say so, but it works. So just stand on this and wait for him to come around, and then you get your challenge in there. 
Okay, now the dance with the other claptrap at the bar, uh, prior to completing the quest out here, uh, when you finally get done and you go out to the flats, you know, you get to the secret door, you'll see Mad Moxie down in her workshop, and then she opens up the back door to Cacarnia there. So uh, we left, went out to the area, the Helio station fires at the, the, the moon or whatever. But anyway, uh, we came back into the bar, and then this guy's kind of making his routines. Uh, so as he was up here on the dance floor, I kind of blocked him. I hit the X button, I don't know if that mattered, and uh, wait for him to come back. He's got this little routine where he goes up over there, but he'll come back. And I just got in front of him, just hit your B button a couple times, and that's what they consider dancing with the clat trap. And that's going to wrap up the, the challenges out here. Again, I don't know if I'm going to update the video with the jackpot in there. Uh, might just make a notation on the video or something that uh, I got it in co-op or something. I don't know. Anyway, I got in front of him, I talked to him, and then I just did the bounce in front of him, and that popped the challenge. And that's it. Uh, hope you're liking these videos. Uh, the thumbs up and subscribe would be appreciated. Uh, both me and Demented Priest, we love doing these videos for you gamers out there. Hopefully they're making your life a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm at Mad Moxie's and I'm in front of the slot machines and I'm updating this video. There's really no video help that's going to help you with these uh, slot machines. Uh, multiple hours uh, screwing around with these stupid slot machines and I was just about ready to give up and of course my video wasn't rolling but uh, right there on the machine you saw it had three volt symbols and that's the first time at all the Borderland game that I got the volt symbols uh, prior to that I would get the uh, Iridium on Borderlands 2 to get the jackpot and I just wanted to get the challenge done. I didn't have any clue that uh, it was going to spit out an orange weapon, and it's a pretty awesome gun, too. Uh, it's a level 10, but it does 217 damage, as you saw there. And we're level 18 right at the moment, and we're still using this gun. It is awesome. But uh, my buddy's kind of been working that grinder. We've got a whole bunch of orange weapons at the moment, but that's going to wrap up the challenges out here. And again, there's not much uh, any this video help is going to help you with People getting this jackpot. If you're just persistent and you just keep going back, at some point you'll probably get the jackpot. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.